So uh, what we're going to do here is I've got this old aluminum boat. It's pretty deep. It's got a deep V to it. Um, and I uh, uh, rebuilt a uh, rebuilt a Kawasaki STX-15F um, jet ski motor. And we got, uh, and this is a last minute video, so preparation, I just figured I probably should record this and document so what we're going to do here we got this in this first time in the garage uh, ready for tear down so uh, I already uh, rebuilt this motor here so this motor is a STX 15F um, and it's been uh, increased compression it's bored out to 1.6 instead of 1.5 so it's going to have some more horsepower and that is ready to go so I did that uh, a few months ago and now we're uh, headed over to uh, start working on this guy and get it uh, ready. So it's a very solid boat. I've had it out with the motor on it and everything. Uh, and so what we've got here is the bottom part of the jet ski. And so that is going to drop in uh, the bottom of this thing. And I've been working on that. So we've done some... Uh, uh, so yeah, so we're uh, we're about to get started tearing into this thing. It should be fairly easy, being that the back of this boat is flat. Um, you can see the V starts there, so it should should ride really good. Should have more than enough space for us, and uh, be a pretty fun boat for all the uh, you know. Once it's got a jet in there, we should be able to go anywhere. So uh, got the the uh, transom off, took out the seat, uh, got the braces out, which they're laying right over there. So. A uh, simple way to do that was use a, uh, on the grinder, a sanding disc like that. And then you just sand off the top of the rivets, use this air gun tool. It's like 20 bucks at Walmart. And uh, that'll help you push those rivets through the braces. And then you can get them out. So I just figured I'd share, the, share this. I know it's not a super great quality video. However, uh, I learned a ton watching everybody else's videos so I figure I'll I'll uh share the share the experiences share the tricks things like that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this whole thing out and then I'm going to go over these uh rivets starting here in the bottom this piece is going to be gone anyways I'm going to so I'm going to practice uh and see if I can TIG weld and melt those rivets uh you know basically weld them to the boat and and fill those holes at the same time I'm doing it there on this particular spot because that's a part of the boat that is going to be missing. I'm going to cut that out for the intake. So uh, it'll be a great place to practice and see how how uh, welding on this boat is going to work. Um, so it's a, it's a, you know, a, a smart thing to do to test out, you know, in a spot. And so that spot I know for sure is going away. So I'm going to try those six rivets first, see what I can do. And then if it works good there, um, then I'm going to... Uh, uh, do the rest of these rivets and just run over them with the TIG and melt them, you know, into place so that uh, they're just part of the boat and then I don't have to do anything with those holes except for that. So it should be really fast and easy, uh, but just got to get this, this thing cleaned out now. And I'm going to leave those braces for the seats in because uh, after I mount the engine in here, I'm going to need to uh, basically have have a place to... Uh, mount accessories, you know, like the oil reservoir and some other things um, that, you know, a computer and things like that. So having a, a thing like that on the side of the boat here is a, is a good, you know, these things are going to be easily, uh, easy to, you know, attach things to. Um, and I can just clean them up with a wire wheel and then, you know, uh, weld right to them maybe have, you know, braces, boxes, whatever I need after I get the engine set up. So I'm not taking those out yet. The back of this whole thing will get reinforced more, so I'm not too worried about, you know, this. But it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty solid boat, so it should should work. But uh, yeah, so on to cleaning it out and then seeing how the how the uh, how those how the the aluminum reacts to TIG welding and and uh, see if it's something I can work with or if I've got to come up with a different strategy for installing all this in here. So next step is. Uh, I did some TIG welding on here. It was, uh, like I said in the last video, or the last little clip, it was pretty much just dirty, so it will work. This is actually pretty solid, pretty good stuff. You can see that one's, these are fixed in there. So 
it will work. I'll be able to do that. Uh, I just have to clean up the aluminum a little better. So uh, I've got my lines marked out here. I'm going to make a cut and then uh, make a cut down here. And this is going to be 10 and a half inches wide, which is the underside of this. There's, there's two flat parts that sit under here in this intake. And so, uh, which looks like this. So, uh, so this part, this curved part, is going to sit down below the, you know, outside of the boat essentially, and then these flat parts right here. There's one on this side, one on this side. Run the full length, and that's where, that's going to. This is going to make contact with the bottom of the boat, and that's where we'll be. So I think I'm going to put some aluminum to strengthen this and make it, uh, you know, make it strong. I may or may not. We'll see what it looks like once it's in there, how solid it is. But uh, so, and I'm also I saw a video. Uh, somebody else did something really smart. They didn't cut this piece out and completely remove it. They actually left it as a flap um, and they cut up a little farther up here so that when they put it in, they could actually use this piece of metal to make a nice gradual thing here. Um, so this will be nice because about where this looks like it's gonna be, this V, there's already a V there, it's already curved. So it'll it should end up being a pretty nice gradual thing here and then you'll just have to patch up there should be a little gap here wherever we overlap it there'll probably be a little gap and we'll have to uh you know weld some aluminum in there fill that but all right on to making the cuts and cutting the bottom out so uh got the the intake hole cut out so that's just for from up from about here to the front there and i left a little overhang so that we could work out how we're gonna make this uh you know match up with that curve and basically make it so there's no cavitation no the water flows nicely over it come to find out this is actually a pretty solid boat more solid than i realized uh it's made out of two solid sheets of aluminum um and uh or or you know the bottom is a, a piece here and a piece here and then they've got a uh um, they've got it welded together here and then covered over with the keel. So it's actually a really, really solid boat. Um, so we're going to get this flipped over. Uh, I've got to take this edge off. I just left it here so that I could, uh, so I'm going to take this edge off and then uh, probably get rid of this. I'm going to have to measure, uh, see how high up I need to come here to make that intake sit. Um, but we'll probably do that uh, after I get it flipped over. So now I'm going to take this out, then I'm going to flip it over and then uh, uh, you know, see how, the, uh, see how the jet ski hull intake fits in there. All right, so I wanted to include this because this is actually uh, pretty handy. So uh, what I was showing you about the, uh, here we go, about these rivets. I tried welding those other ones, but uh, you know, it, it worked okay it would be kind of annoying to do all of them because you have to clean them all and everything. What I found was actually much easier is to just uh, just uh, get yourself something heavy like this. I've got this this piece of uh, solid steel. You know, it's big, big and heavy. And basically, all you've got to do, let's see if I can do this one-handed, is uh, fit it underneath there like, like that so that the rivets are, are touching there. And then you just hit it with a, you want to have a flat hammer like this. You don't want to have one with the teeth on the end of it. And you end up with a nice, nice uh, sealed rivet. It'll never leak, um, you know, and uh, you just go along. So if you've got, you know, uh, if you've got rivets in your, in your boat that you need to do something with, uh, this is a pretty, probably the best solution I would They'll, they'll never leak and then you don't have to do anything with them. So I pulled out those supports and I'm not obviously going to put them back in. So uh, we've got our hole cut and uh, hole cut in the back here too. So I'm just, I've got to uh, zip off these guys back to here because uh, um, it's going to make it a, a flat spot for the, uh, the jet ski hole to fit in. So you can see now I've got... Uh, these flat spots here, this is where it'll sit, and I've got to cut this much out, so about three inches, for the uh, so that it's got a flat spot next to the opening to sit on. So we're going to go ahead and 
hammer the rest of these rivets and then uh, and then uh, go ahead and do that. So we've got, uh, let's see if I can zoom out here. So we've got all those cleared out. I don't need to do these ones, these last ones, because the uh, intake to the jet ski doesn't come up this far. The only reason we cut it here is so we can make a nice gradual, uh, use this metal uh, to make a nice gradual uh, meeting with the, the hull of the jet ski so that the water flows over it nicely and we get good intake and stuff. So if you guys noticed, uh, or I, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm using this black and Decker saw for all my aluminum cutting. I've just found it to be really handy. Um, you know, I've, I've got a grinder, I've got a rotary tool for my air compressor. Um, you know, I've got a sawzall. This thing actually works really good because, um, the blade is very, the blade's very narrow. Um, and so it gives really, really great cuts on aluminum. I made all these cuts with the saw and then, you know, sometimes finished it up with the, the sawzall or something. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, ended up being really handy. So the next thing is, uh, I'm going to, uh, take my, you know, solid steel block. That's probably still back under there. And I'm going to go along here and I'm going to fix all these rivets and hammer them down nice and flat. So I don't have to fix those holes. Um, I did not use my air hammer to punch those through like I did with the back a little bit. Um, I pried the bars off instead to leave the rivets in place so that uh, I could go along and flatten them down and make a nice, uh, a nice, um, you know, um, spot for uh, basically it'd seal up all the holes and I wouldn't have to fix them later. So it saves me some time. So, um, so yeah, we're on to, uh, uh, fix those rivets and then I'll test fit the intake and see uh, how see how it goes in here So uh, what we're gonna do here is I've got this old aluminum boat. It's pretty deep. It's got a deep V to it um, and I uh, uh, rebuilt a uh, Rebuild a Kawasaki STX 15F um, Jet ski motor and we got uh, and this is a last minute video, so preparation, I just figured I probably should record this and document it. So what we're going to do here, we got this in this first time in the garage uh, ready for teardown. So uh, I already uh, rebuilt this motor here. So this motor is a STX 15F um, and it's been uh, increased compressions bored out to 1.6 instead of 1.5. So it's going to have some more horsepower and that is ready to go. So I did that. Uh, a few months ago and now we're uh, headed over to uh, start working on this guy and get it uh, ready so it's a very solid boat I've had it out with the motor on it and everything uh, and so what we've got here is the bottom part of the jet ski and so that is gonna drop in uh, the bottom of this thing and I've been working on that so we've done some uh, uh, so yeah, so we're uh, we're about to get started tearing into this thing. It should be fairly easy, being that the back of this boat is flat. Um, you can see the V starts there, so it should should ride really good. Should have more than enough space for us, and uh, be a pretty fun boat for all the uh, you know. Once it's got a jet in there, we should be able to go anywhere.